Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We've got another unboxing. Today we're looking at the new 8-bit dough PC Engine controllers. They've got a PC Engine controller, a PC Engine Core controller, and a TurboGrafx-16 controller. I love the 8-bit dough controllers. We've been looking at them for a number of years now, and this is their first interpretation of a modern Turbo Graphics controller or PC Engine controller, depending on what part of the world you're from. And we're going to unbox all three of them, and then we'll be back on my main channel with a full review as to how they work, because I have discovered that these work with more than just the new Turbo Graphics mini consoles. They'll actually work with the PC, the Switch, and we'll see what else they might work with too. And before we unbox these things, I want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that these came in free of charge from 8BitDo. However, nobody is approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and we were not compensated for this unboxing, and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get to it now and take these things out of the box. All right, so let's take these things out of the box, and I'm doing a live stream while we unbox here, and everyone wanted me to take apart the uh, PC Engine box first, so that's what we're going to run with. Uh, now, again, these were designed to work with the new mini consoles that just came out, and these are wireless controllers, as you can see. Um, so what you got here is your D-pad. Feels pretty nice. Now, I've got a PC Engine, actually a TurboGrafx-16 controller upstairs. Uh, it feels pretty close to it. It does feel like a much fresher D-pad because uh, these are brand new, so it's got a nice uh, stiff feel to it. Uh, nice there. Uh, the buttons feel pretty nice on it too. Very lightweight, but it has uh, decent build quality. And we've found that with the Turbo Graphics uh, controller here, and along with the other ones that 8BitDo makes, they do make a nice replica controller that, uh, again, try to add some modern stuff to the mix. Uh, now, they don't have a turbo switch. So on the original controllers, you had a switch to uh, adjust the level of turbo that the uh, controller will provide. Uh, these are locked in at a certain turbo rate. So if you want turbo, you push the buttons above here, and if you want a regular button push, you can push those two down there. Got your select and run buttons. There's a home button here because these do work with the switch uh, in wireless mode, uh, and there you go. Uh, internal battery, you got to charge it through the USB. Uh, when you connect it up, though, with the USB cable to your PC, I found last night it shows up as an X input controller. We'll explore more of that in the main review. Uh, so that's the controller itself. Pretty nice. It's like an off-white. And I'm guessing, I never had a PC Engine, but I'm guessing it was kind of an off-white color. Uh, in the box here, we have the cable for uh, charging. It's a USB, uh, micro-USB connection, not a USB-C. And then we've got the little 8-bit dough connector. It looks like some of their other wireless connectors. And again, this will work with the Switch and with the new mini consoles, and you can use it with those. And I believe you could get the PC Engine controller and use it with the Turbo Graphics Mini version. They're all uh, compatible the same way. All right, so that is the first one. You get a little instruction book in the box there as well. Uh, these, by the way, are not Bluetooth. They're just 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, so let's do the Turbo Graphics 16 next. And this is what I remembered here in the United States when I was a kid. I never had one. I, got, I bought one recently, uh, and I really liked the games on the PC Engine. I started getting into the PC Engine or the Turbo Graphics uh, when I was in college with some emulation, and I since bought a system, and uh, really good stuff. A friend of mine, though, had a uh, PC, or TurboGrafx Express, the uh, portable console back in the 90s. I thought it was amazing, because you could play all the regular console games on your, uh, on the go, which was pretty cool. So, there you go. Nice color there. And then, we've got this one. And this is the uh, PC Engine Core, which was a later release of the console. And the, the controls feel the same across all of these. I'm not feeling any real difference here. They just look different. So there you go. And then uh, on each of them, too, the, uh, the dongle here will match the color of the controller that it goes with. So good stuff there. All right, so I've got some testing to do. Uh, we're going to start testing all these controllers out, and we'll have a full review soon on my main channel at lon.tv, so stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rick Vestudo, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.